Hey Joe, it's Ricardo. Listen, I was thinking of a snack for you guys and I would be happy to send the recipe. Pretty much it's a snack you would eat all day long, either for breakfast, uh, lunch or in the afternoon uh, break as well. It's called Pão de Queijo. If you go to a Brazilian steakhouse in the States, um, as per one of the, mo uh, the known ones, it's Churrascaria Fogo de Chão. Uh, they serve it there, so it's called cheese bread. You may have had in the past. Um, now, if you're wondering what it is like, what it's made of, I could hook you up with that recipe, and I have reasons to believe it would be a huge hit. So check this out. We got this ready. It's, it comes packaged already. Okay, like this. And the ingredients are only tapioca star starch, cheese, milk, vegetable oil butter, salt, and eggs. Quite easy to make. And there are two versions basically. You can do with solid recipe or liquid. Solid ones you would put all together. And these ones here, uh, if you come closer, it's extruded by a machine, okay? So you get it ready. Now you can use a blender as well and make a liquid recipe, which is more friendly to pour, right? You would have to have those muffin tins, the little ones, although, and butter spray it prior to. Now, uh, this is the raw ingredient, I mean the raw product, and after going to the oven, it comes out like this. So it would be like uh, cheese puffs, per se. Let me show you the texture. Um, once I open, look what happens. They're very fluffy. They got a nice crust on the outside. These darker marks are cheese, and it doesn't mu take much cheese, by the way, okay? Uh, the recipe itself has less than 10% of saturated fat on a daily uh, diet basis. Look what it looks like when I open it. It's very chewy, gummy, look. It's got some... And that's the effect of the tapioca starch. What we do, uses little envelopes to put them inside. So you have different sizes, right? These ones are 20 grams. You could do like 80 grams or 100 grams um, and go by the package, right? Now, about the tapioca starch, I don't know, I'm pretty sure you can get it. Usually in Chinese um, supermarkets in the US, you would be able to get it. And there are two types, basically. You've got the sour ones and the sweet ones. And I, I can't recall exactly, but if you go with the liquid recipe, you would get uh, a percentage of 70, 30, where I think it's 70% sweet starch and 30% uh, sour starch. They have different uh, One is a byproduct of the other one, basically. But I, I'm just inviting you to consider this as an option, and I'll be happy to send a recipe that is blended. Okay? Talk to you soon.